Hi everyone, salut tout le monde, I'm Maya from Sweet French and I'm French. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to give you a bunch of vocabulary and examples of sentences around our phones and the social media. All of technology and social media have such a big presence in our everyday life. I think it's really important that you know how to say these things in French, if you're learning French, of course. So you'll see that we have a lot of French words, but we also use a lot of English words. But yeah, I think it's interesting. Okay, let's start. Let's first start with our phones. Un téléphone. It's un téléphone portable. Today we just say un portable. Un Portable. Il est où mon portable? Il est où mon portable? Où est mon portable? Où est mon portable? T'as vu mon portable? T'as vu mon portable? The touch screen is un écran tactile. Un écran tactile. The charger is un chargeur. Un chargeur. Ok, so let's start with all the social media stuff. Ok, donc. Sur un portable, on a des applis. On a des applis. The apps, in French, the word is une application. But we never say the whole word. We always say une appli. Une appli. But don't say une app, like in English. We say une appli. Appli. Une appli. So we have apps like Facebook, etc. Right? In French, we say Facebook. Facebook. Instagram, Instagram, but most of the time today we say Insta, Insta, it's the only one that we shorten like that. Facebook, Insta or Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, WhatsApp, all of these are social media, right? So we say les réseaux sociaux, les réseaux sociaux. So I guess we say social networks in French, if you had to translate it. Les réseaux sociaux. We have se connecter, se connecter, and se déconnecter, se déconnecter. So these are reflexive verbs, right? Je me connecte, je me connecte. Je me connecte à mon compte. Je me connecte à mon compte. We have the word a post. We say un post, un post, un post, but to post. So we <laughs> took that word again, that verb, and we made it a French verb with an ER at the end, and it becomes poster. J'ai posté une photo. J'ai posté une photo. And then your friends can leave comments. Un commentaire, un commentaire. So you can commenter, commenter, to comment, or leave a comment, which is laisser un commentaire, laisser un commentaire. Mes amis vont commenter mes photos, mes amis vont commenter mes photos, ou mes amis vont laisser des commentaires sous mes photos, mes amis vont laisser des commentaires sous mes photos. Next, you have the hashtags. We say un hashtag, un hashtag. We just don't pronounce the H, the H, at the beginning because that's not a sound that exists in French. So we say un hashtag, un hashtag. Next, you have to like, to like a post, right? So we have a French way to say that, but it's so long that we usually use the English word. So the French way would be cliquer sur le bouton j'aime, which is way too long. I don't know if people say j'ai aimé ta photo. Maybe some people would say that. Personally, I, I never say that and my friends don't say that either. It just sounds like you just like my photo, not that you liked my photo, right? So usually we just use the English verb to like and we make it a French verb. So un like. Un like is the noun and the verb is liker, liker. So you can say, j'ai liké ta photo, j'ai liké ta photo. I did hear some French YouTubers say, cliquer sur le pouce bleu, 
personally, I don't use those words. I don't know, it sounds weird to me. I'm really used to watching a lot of English content. Maybe that's why too. Uh, but yeah, you can say like it and everyone will understand it. Next, you have the Instagram stories, right? So we say une story Instagram. Une story Instagram. Or une story Insta. Or just une story. Une story. So with the French R, right? Une story. Some of you have asked how to say to share. To share a post or to share a video. We say partager. Partager. So it's the translation here. Partager. Partager une vidéo. Partager un post. Partager une photo. Next, you have to subscribe. We say s'abonner. S'abonner. So it's a reflexive verb again, right? S'abonner. And the opposite is se désabonner. Se désabonner. So you could say je m'abonne à la chaîne streetfrench.org. <laughs> je m'abonne à la chaîne streetfrench.org. So on Instagram, people say to follow, to follow someone. So we can translate that to French and we do say suivre. Je suis euh, cette influenceuse. Je suis cette influenceuse sur Instagram. But I did hear some people say to follow. Personally, I don't really say that, but I've heard it before. Je la follow. Je la follow. So if the sentence was totally in French, it would be je la suis. Je la suis sur Instagram. It can also be je la follow sur Instagram. Je la follow sur Instagram. If you want to say the opposite, which is to unfollow, usually we say supprimer. Supprimer. Je l'ai supprimé d'Instagram. Je l'ai supprimé de Facebook. Or you can also say I stopped following them. J'ai arrêté de la suivre. J'ai arrêté de la suivre sur Instagram. But most of the time, I think people would say supprimer. But both work. It is fine. Supprimer could be used when you had a fight with someone, with a friend, and you want to unfollow them from all social media. You would say, ah, je l'ai supprimé d'Instagram. Je l'ai supprimé de partout. But you can also say, je l'ai supprimé just because you didn't want to follow that person anymore. Next is a DM. A direct message. In French, we say un MP. Un MP. It means un message privé. Envoie-moi un message sur Instagram or envoie-moi un MP sur Instagram. Or you could say je t'ai écrit en MP. Je t'ai écrit en MP. Just recently, I've heard someone say envoie-moi un DM. Envoie-moi un DM. So I guess people are starting to use DM in French. At least now you know how to say both. Another one that's interesting is to swipe. So swipe up, swipe left, swipe right, all of those. Uh, the French translation is glisser, so to slide, to swipe, it's kind of similar. And so glisser, glisser vers le haut, glisser vers le haut. But you see how it's longer than English, which is just swipe up two like small words <laughs> sometimes you can see some people write swiper vers le haut or swiper à gauche swiper à droite of course none of those like <laughs> english verb in a french form are absolutely not correct like that's not something you should <laughs> write on an essay or in a professional email or whatever those are just words we use in the spoken language Someone asked us how to say a link. That's really easy. It's un lien. Un lien. Un lien. Next is to download. To download, we say télécharger. 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 Because of the lockdown, the confinement, or whatever you call it. In French, we say le confinement. People have worked online and have worked on Skype and Zoom a lot, right? So in French, we say faire une réunion sur Skype. Faire une réunion, so to have a meeting. Faire une réunion sur Skype. Or faire une réunion sur Zoom. 
faire une réunion sur Zoom. Ok, that's it for the whole vocabulary list. I wrote down just a couple of sentences at the end that are interesting. So here are the examples. Here are different ways to ask someone if they have Facebook, Instagram, etc. So you can start by T'es sur Facebook? T'es sur Facebook? Or T'es sur Instagram? T'es sur Instagram? You can also ask C'est quoi ton Instagram? C'est quoi ton Instagram? You can do the liaison C'est quoi ton Instagram? Because it's easier to pronounce if you want. C'est quoi ton Instagram? C'est quoi ton Instagram? Another way would be to ask Ta Instagram? Ta Facebook? Je peux t'ajouter sur Instagram? Ou je peux t'ajouter sur Facebook? Ajoute-moi sur Facebook. Ajoute-moi sur Facebook. Someone asked on Instagram how to say to have a break from social media. I guess one way would be to just say faire une pause. Faire une pause avec les réseaux sociaux. Je fais une pause avec les réseaux sociaux. Pendant le confinement, j'ai fait une pause avec les réseaux sociaux. Pendant le confinement, j'ai fait une pause avec les réseaux sociaux. But yeah, I think that's a good note to end the video on. <laughs> to not be too obsessed with social media because it's already everywhere, all the time around us, all day, every day. So it's also important to remind ourselves to take a break sometimes. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope it was interesting and helpful. Uh, feel free to leave a comment asking for more words or sentences or anything I haven't talked about. I would really like to do another video kind of like that, talking about computers and the internet. Is that something that would, that would be interesting? Feel free to tell us in the comments. If you like what we do, check out our website streetfrench.org. We have a bunch of e-courses and e-books and a couple of free e-courses too if you want to try that out. Also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, but we're mainly present on Instagram. I hope everyone is doing well during this confinement and during this whole pandemic. It's pretty, pretty complicated for all of us. I hope, yeah, I hope you're safe, that your family is well. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye, salut